hour, but Bitcoin has been rallying pretty hard lately. It's up more than 70 percent just this year. And our next guest says this is Bitcoin's moment. This is why the asset exists. Let's bring in Jack Mallers, the founder and CEO of Strike. I was going to say, have we seen your hair before, Jack, or has the hoodie typically been up? I'm, I'm waiting, you know, for the business suit for me to know that the crisis is over so I can see we're not there yet. Kelly, I got luscious locks, but I'll toss the hood on for you. How are we? The <laughs> Fed has blown up our financial system. A hell of a Monday, huh? So do you think, OK, let me ask it to you this way or put it to you this way. A, a mm -hmm. banking crisis is deflationary. And so when I see Balaji and others saying Bitcoin's going to go to a million dollars, it may go up, but that may be because of the Fed's response here. The 2010s were not hyperinflationary. There's no obvious reason why now would be hyperinflationary either. Yeah. So, Kelly, it's it's actually not that complicated, and I'm excited to try and convey that to America. Uh, there's a market term that's used here in Chicago a lot is demand finds supply. What do I mean by that? If Ken Griffin is going to want to buy the most expensive condo in America, someone will build it for him. Someone will put a 201st floor in Miami's tallest building. If silver is going to 1,000x, I will walk into my kitchen right now. I will melt all my silverware, and I will sell it at market. If gold is going to rally, Elon Musk will find more on Mars. Bitcoin is – this is a super important point. Bitcoin is the only – monetary instrument in the history of our species that is fixed. It does not matter how much more demand comes into the asset class, Kelly. No one will ever be able to make more of it. There are two things I can guarantee you in my life. One, that I'll die, and the other, that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. And those are what's the two things that I can only value as my life and my Bitcoin. So it is the only fixed supply asset, Kelly. It's not that complicated. It's going to go up because everything else can be issued more. Does that why make is sense? It, why, you've got to explain to me one thing. Why is the supply fixed? And, and is that because someone says it's fixed? who could change their mind? No, it's a great point and question, Tyler. Uh, it's because it's written in the software and the software is distributed. There is no one person to ask. There is no one person to trust. The whole decentralization, is it decentralized so that you could put pictures and NFTs on the blockchain? Is it decentralized so that you could fix gaming? No, it's decentralized so that the defendants of the monetary policy are distributed, is so that it's a network of computers that actually defend the policy and the instrumentation of the monetary asset. That is not the case for Ethereum. That is not the case for any other altcoin. That is not the case for the U.S. But, dollar. That is not but, the case for Miami real estate. That is not the case for precious metals. It is the it is the only monetary instrument that has its monetary policy distributed and defended. Forgive in a sound me for being way. dense, so but, you but if you, you say that mm -hmm. that it's it's because this is the way the software is written and it is immutable, it is unchanged. Why couldn't the software be rewritten, or why couldn't the authors uh, of the software or the guardians of the software? write a new software that creates Bitcoin 2.0 uh, with, a, with, a, with another supply, a fixed supply of Bitcoin. Yeah. So, Tyler, I run Bitcoin software, uh, and someone tried to do this. I want you to Google Bitcoin Cash after this interview is over. Someone said, I want to change the rules of Bitcoin. I may want to create more of a supply. I may want to make it faster. I may want to make it do a backflip. I may make it want to store pictures of monkeys drooling on themselves on the blockchain. And they created it, and they created new rules, and they called it Bitcoin Cash. It's a different asset. It's a different instrument. And when someone tries to pay me in it, my software rules that I run in my home in a room over there says, nope, that's invalid. That thing is a piece of poop, and I don't accept it because it is invalidating the rules of the system that were set out by Satoshi Nakamoto over a decade ago. So you Create whatever you want. You want to create FedNow coin, flip a Dookie coin. I don't care. There's 21 million of the things that mm -hmm. I run mm -hmm. and that I protect mm -hmm. and that I save in. And those rules were started a long time ago. And that's what the network runs. So if you change mm -hmm. the rules, you're creating a different monetary asset and a different instrument. It doesn't matter.